a muscle. <laughs> it's a nice size one. Yeah, it's not too small. He really stuck to the rock too, which is good. It's not a hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> we got two. <laughs> That's kind of a big. Thing. I know. I think he bit me. Holy crap! I was, this disturbs his home. <laughs> <laughs> having our coffee um, out in the cockpit um, here in Maine and we are I guess near Port Clyde mm -hmm. so we're anchored um, and we're gonna head in shortly to check out um, this little island that we're gonna be spending some time at we are anchored near Blubber Island we arrived to this spot yesterday after a long 85 mile passage from the Isle of Shoals which ended with what you may call the perfect cruisers introduction to Maine a minefield of lobster pots, which we carefully weaved our way through under sail before setting the anchor. Delos has some friends that have a cabin on this little island. They're not here right now, but they've said that we could use the cabin while they're gone. So we're gonna go check it out. And yeah, I think we're gonna be spending our quarantine time here. Super chill spot to spend uh, in the next 14 days of self-isolation up here in Maine. Yeah. So we have lots of food. We packed a boat up of food in Annapolis, and, in Annapolis, and I guess we'll just uh, chill out and use a cabin for hanging out at night and stuff, so pretty cool setup. I think they ran a power line from the, from the mainland over here, so it has electricity, but um, there's no running water, but there's pumps and uh, I guess some like rain catchment systems, so that's pretty cool. Kind of like half off the grid, half on. Yeah. Mm. And the smell of the air up here is, oh, it's one of my favorite smells. It's just so fresh and that pine scent. Oh my God, I, I'm, I'm in heaven. Let's go check out this sweet island, huh? Yeah. So this is high tide, it looks like, because apparently at low tide, this whole thing is visible. Is what Brian and Kaza told us. The tides here are like 10 feet. Yeah, tides here are about 10 feet, so quite the fluctuation. Oh, it smells so good here. Oh, this is so cool. So this is Blubber Island. And this is the cabin. Oh, look, is that an eagle? It's a big bird. See? Sweet back porch we got here. Pretty cool. Yeah, I can, I can deal with this for a couple weeks. God, it's gorgeous. Guys anchored right there. Some pretty easy access here. Ooh. This is cozy, huh? So much wood. Wow, this porch. Check it out. Yeah. This is nice. Air so crisp and nice, cool. It's like a good spot for people to come gather. Yeah. Kind of like a TTYC, except yeah. I guess a little more civilized. Yeah. But it's fun because a lot of our friends from the Bahamas are actually coming up here. So like Andy and Charlie are here. Um, I think Ada is heading up this way. Uh, our friends Will Linda. So it's kind of cool. It's like a little, like we're all, we're doing the same things, right? We'll be, I guess no bonfires and we're not burning garbage, but. Later that day, I'm headed into the little town of Port Clyde for a quick explore and to find dinner. 
We're not going to waste any time getting into the lobsters Maine is so famous for. There's a good reason we encountered a vast maze of lobster pots when arriving the other day. <laughs> and that's because for the past nine years in a row, Maine fishermen have caught more than 100 million pounds of lobster a year in these waters. A few hours later, we are back at the cabin and we're going to be starting up some lobster cooking. Yeah, steaming lobster. I think Will's going to be our lobster steamer. Yeah, um, and maybe you can do the sausages, grilled mm -hmm. sausages. That, that one. Yeah. That one? Yeah. Yeah. Some tough days, eh? Oh, good from that guy. Yeah. Awesome. Okie dokie. Yummy. Oh, Stay there, Will. First taste. Oh, it's good. Mm. Wow. It's a breakfast party, I know. It's just so much more tender than any lobster. The, the kind we eat in the Bahamas. Yeah, sweeter and... Mm. I could eat this every night. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> Not my favorite. <laughs> I have to eat better. He likes the sauce. Nice. I like the sauce. So... It is 10 o'clock a.m. and we are about to go on a little muscle collection trip with Kaza and Brian. It started out to be a really nice day. It's a little hazier now, but it's still beautiful. Beautiful temperature, that is. Bill's just looking for a bucket. Beverly Hillbilly's here. We've been here like a week about and it's been all about R&R. We have a lot of like boat projects to do, a lot of boat cleaning to do, but We've just been editing and catching up on sleep. Um, but anyway, back to the mussels. Yeah, I'm really excited about the mussels. I loved collecting mussels in Nova Scotia. Um, and it's super low tide right now. Dallas is at the dock at the moment and you can see that land all the way over here is normally completely submerged at high tide. So we've waited like at 10, 15, it's perfectly low tide. So that's why we're going now. But anyway, they're already starting, so. We're gonna go.
so we've been told that like if you pull away the seaweed they might be hiding kind of like on the sides of the rocks we're not really having that much success yet but we just started so we'll see maybe we'll maybe we'll get lucky i think brian and kaza found one oh i found a rock <laughs> It's cold. A lot of mussel shells. Just a lot of like shells. Like the birds are getting them. <laughs> Careful, honey. Is that, is that like super cold? Yeah. Another empty shell. Lots of empty mussels. Oh, that's cold. Oh. I love gathering though. It's like one of my favorite things to do. So if we find any, I'm gonna be really excited. What's this? Oh, oh my gosh. You got one? I got one. <laughs> A muscle. It's a nice size one. Yeah, it's not too small. He really stuck to the rock too, which is good. It's not a hot spot. <laughs> we got two. It's kind of a big. I know. I think he bit me. Holy crap! That was his turbs is home. <laughs> nice one. Well. Should we go deeper again? Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. How you're doing that with flip flops? Do you check uh, this rock yet? A little, little oh. Oh. Hee hee. You got one? Yeah. Nice. Now I get. Now throw it to me. Oh. I feel like this is like a hot area right here. Big one. Wow, Kaz is in a good spot. I throw this to you? Oh, oh. <laughs> this is like not something you want to do with any alcohol in your system. Oh, sorry. Maybe more fun. Good catch. This area has like a lot of seaweed. Did you just say that it would be more fun? <laughs> more challenging, the crabs would become funnier. That's true. I would definitely have less fear of getting bit. We're gonna go put these mussels in a little cage underwater to keep them fresh. We here, if you put seaweed in the bin, they'll rub their shells against it and knock any debris off, which makes the cleaning easier. The sun's out now, it's a beautiful day, and I'm really looking forward to eating mussels tonight. Eight, nine, 10, 60, is that where we're at? That's 130. Jeez. 135. Those can go over. Yeah, I think these are kind of small. Throw them in the rocks. Hmm. Yeah. 145. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Looks heavy. Here we go. Later that day, we're back at the cabin to clean and cook our mussels. The brightest sky I have ever seen The most colorful one I could dream You wake me up with a new bright smile
really good at you. I confess I'll let you in on everything Even the fact that I'm upset It's a luxury being in this cabin, that's for sure. Because we have a ton of space and yeah. Things like it's way more civilized than electricity yeah. and this is seriously like therapeutic for me. Do you like all the seaweed that's in here? I feel like this is like where I would live if I was a muscle. Ooh, big crab. Get over here, crab. I have a strong urge to grab this crab. I come